So let's take a look at geometry pad down the bottom here of my screen. Um, new mathematics app that uh, was quite impressed. I've got the actual light version here. Um, you can go premium and I'll talk about that in a minute. So basically we've got some things down the bottom that we can actually click on. So if I click on the triangle here, um, I can tap on three points. It hits a grid point really, really well. Um, so you don't have to worry about where your finger's actually hitting, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can do a range of different things. We've got pencils and erasers and students can actually start to do some uh, calculations there um, um, and actually explain some thinking and doing different things like that. So there's some really nice features there. The thing for me in regard to, um, uh, to this one is definitely um, the ability for students to work within um, the app itself, um, which is really, really impressive. So um, we've got some different features here. I think the thing that really um, jumps out at me is that we've got this little text um, point here. So I can actually click on here and I can change the text and we can have students doing some calculations or explaining their thinking here. So you could say this triangle um, and you could have students actually demonstrating um, a range of different things. And so it pops up on our screen here that we can move around. And I think this is a really nice feature um, for student workflows. Um, really, really impressive. Uh, top left-hand corner, we've got some options. Um, we've got some demo videos and so forth, but we've got some ability to save files. We've got ability to, um, to open uh, existing files and so on. So there's some nice little features there as well. You'll notice down the bottom when you click on some of the things, let's click on, uh, for example, here our little compass, you can see that um, this is part of the premium features pack. So this is how they're going to make, um, I guess, their money is, is give us the light version and the trial version here, which is still very, very good. Um, but then uh, some in-app purchases uh, with the uh, going up to the premium there to get a better model. So that's just quickly in a nutshell, um, some features of a geometry pad. Um, certainly worth getting. Um, I can see some real potential there with kids um, in primary and elementary school uh, looking at area and perimeter and looking at grids. Even if you're doing a bit of coding uh, and you're looking at uh, negatives um, and positives and looking at uh, grid space and that sort of thing when you're using an app like Hopscotch might be worth looking into. So there's uh, geometry pad there just in a nutshell. Um, certainly worth getting the free version, having a little bit of a play and seeing if it's something that you as a teacher, but more importantly, the students can use in class. Paul Hamilton here signing off.